Coming to you from a living room somewhere in the greater Los Angeles area, it's Rick's Cafe Live. Get comfy. Order some takeout. Remove your masks and gloves. Hang up your hazmat suit and get ready to party with Rick and his friends. Now put your hands together for a round of thunderous applause, which we cannot hear, and welcome your host, Rick Braun. Hey everybody, welcome to Rick's Cafe Live. We apologize for that little bit of a delay. Seems like whenever we move into the studio, we got something going on, but here we are finally. So get up and dance. Here we go. Everybody, welcome. 
Welcome to Rick's Cafe. Next week we are going to have Randy Jacobs here. This week we put this little show together for you in the studio so that we could just hang out because, you know, I couldn't get through the week without without doing this and getting a chance to, I wish I could say see you, but uh, to just know that you're there for us. Um, I do have a co-host tonight. I have a co-host and she's very, very beautiful and I want to I want to bring her in right now. Christiana, would you come in here please, honey? And uh, and hang out with me. There she is, Christiana Braun, ladies and gentlemen, looking beautiful as usual. You have to look in this camera. Ah, we look in this camera. Yes. All right. Thank you for hanging in with us. Yeah, thank you so much. I know a lot of you were taking bets at home as far as, see, every time we come into the studio, Mom, you never know what's going to happen. I know. But here we are. And uh, <laughs> a long time. Saturday <laughs> evening. Beautiful Saturday evening. You have your champagne. I'm gonna yes, get my. Yes, and I wanna ho I wanna have a toast to Richard and Camilla Elliot's twenty uh, third wedding anniversary today. Happy so anniversary. We have to celebrate with them tonight. Happy anniversary, you too. We love yes. you so much. Yes. Cheers, mom. Cheers. Cheers. I gotta take a deep breath. <sighs> okay. And the vampires are working very hard out there. They have a new production office. Can we get a shot of the vampires out there? I know they is have your a is your camera there. camera working? Uh, guys, I guess not yet. Well, we'll see the vampires a little yes. bit later. They're they're there for sure. Yeah, we're here. All right. First, I want to check because the video feed in our room is seems like we're very dark. Can you guys see us out in in, yes. in TV land? It yeah. looks okay out there. Okay, so uh, because we moved into the studio because I'm working on a new CD, right, Mom? I Yes. I'm in here and it's yes. a, I've never, I barely can see him anymore. <laughs> I know. I come in here in my pajamas. I almost did the show in my pajamas because that's how I record most of my music. I wake up, I'll get an idea. Uh, Roy McClurg, thank you so much. He's, uh, he's helping out with this record and I'm doing it totally differently this, uh, this time I'm going, uh, uh, not through a record company. So I'm joining the ranks of many other people like Mindy and Dave cause did their last records independently funded and uh, Roy has been such a big uh, help and uh, getting things done so Roy came out last week and stayed with us and uh, we started to work on this record and uh, I'm so excited I'm so excited because I've I've never done this it, it, it's like the making of a record is like a big secret until um, you know until you kind of finish it and what I want to do tonight is share some of the songs with you and I'm going to I'm going to try to play them because I think um, you know I'm really excited about this record it's a really really uh, great start and uh, I just wanted to share it with you the songs aren't titled the CD isn't titled yet no nope no titles too early too early I have some working titles and I've tried to keep them clean for a change because I, I knew I came up with you know because mom, you know, you know the kind of titles I come up with. Yeah. Richard, Richard and I come up with interesting titles so for sure. So Soiled trousers, trousers was one, yeah. So, see, we said it anyway. <laughs> we went there. <laughs> so, um, first of all, um, I want to talk to you about this. This CD is gonna going to come out in uh, probably in the fall. And um, the way that I start a project is like it's kind of a stream of consciousness with me. And I come out into the studio and I just start, I start writing. And um, I want to play for you a song that is um, most likely going to be on the record because I really love it. And it's one of the first songs that I wrote. It's a ballad. And um, I just want to, I'd, I'd be very interested. We're kind of at a disadvantage because I can't really see your comments. We're totally in a vacuum here without any comments or anything from you guys. So I'm, I, I, I hope you guys can kind of keep me posted or maybe you can open up your uh, thing. Uh, here we go. Congratulations on going independent. Thank you, Peggy. All right, so I'm gonna put this up here somehow. And uh, it's one of those days, I'm telling you, trying to even figure out how to stand up. Stand this up is another thing. Okay, we've got some good, hi Emma, okay. Uh, and Emma soil. is watching in her office <laughs> Kurt says, Kurt says, soiled from work in the garden. I like that, Kurt. But that wasn't really what we thought about, you know. But long story short, 
Uh, now I can see what you're saying. So please bring on the comments because that's why I'm doing this. I want to very much hear what you think about this project. So let me start with this song. It's a very pretty ballad. And I'm going to just try to play the song. One more explanation about what's going on here. When I come in here, I work in this studio with this equipment and I work on my own. So the final record, as you hear it, is f much farther advanced than this. These are the starts and these are like the, the germs of the idea, the, the seeds of the record. And um, I'm pretty confident all of these songs are going to make the record, but they're in their most unevolved uh, form. So uh, we're going to share this with you. So don't tell anybody that you heard this stuff because it's a really big secret, okay? Uh, this song I called, for whatever reason, Sixth Street, and it's a pretty ballad, and I'm going to put this mute in, and hopefully it works, you know.
right, let me see. She's holding the verdicts. The verdict is being held secretly here. So let's see. Did you guys like it? So, so special to hear this. It, it's, uh, you know what? Come close, mom. I can't, they can't hear you over there. <laughs> Besides, you look so pretty. I want you close to me. Uh, you know, I've never done this. And uh, it's just nice to share this moment with you because these records take a lot of time to put together. And for me, I don't really get a complete picture of what a song is like until I actually share it with some people, right? I mean, we'll have, We'll have a listening party over here, and we'll we'll invite people over before the record's finished. And it's interesting because I work in a vacuum here a lot of the time when I write this stuff. And there's a whole different energy when you share something with somebody. It's the same thing in life. I think if you keep good things to yourself, it, 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 it they kind of sit there. But I think to share them, um, it, 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 it kind of builds it in the energy. I can feel the energy, you know? Right. I mean, you, you've been here many times, yeah. and we've, we've had a little get-together. Yeah, it's been nice. Yeah. It's been nice. So uh, I hope everybody's safe out there. I have to calm down a little bit because we were, we were working really hard to get this all together. And, of course, I had to prepare this music to bring it up to a level where I thought everybody could listen to it a little bit. And um, so I think we got that done. While I'm taking a breath here, I want to thank... Uh, Chuck Surak and Sweetwater for uh, all that they're doing to keep our shows going. And um, as I mentioned before, when I was still in the whirlwind of can we get this together uh, and get a show together for you, um, what I mentioned before is next week's show. So, Ma Christiana, that's going to be such a great show, isn't it? Yes, we are very excited. We have Randy Jacobs is coming in, mm -hmm. and uh, Peter White is going to, sh going to come in as well. And it's a, it's a tribute... But we are celebrating a very special person in your life's birthday. Yes, because uh, Jeff Golub was born April 15th, and uh, of course we lost him several years ago. And um, But I spoke with Randy, and we've been working on putting this show together now for probably several months talking about it. And I think it's the perfect time because the show is April 17th, uh, two days uh, after Jeff's after Jeff's birth, after Jeff's birthday, Kyle just Kyle just told me to look at the camera. look at this camera because I think we lost that camera. <laughs> you know, this is like the mission to Mars. It's like the Martian. You know that movie where he holds the whole thing together with duct tape and manages to get back to Earth. Love Honey, do you movie. think we can get back to Earth? I think we Earth? should watch that movie. <laughs> we have to watch that movie because this is that show. Um, where was I? I digress. It's going to be with the band. And so, uh, so next week's going to be very special. So we, we certainly appreciate all of your support. And I know we're doing this little show in the studio and there's no live musicians here. But next week, we will have live musicians and we will also have live musicians for the huge groove show, which is coming up on May the 8th. And uh, we will have no show on April 24th because uh, I think that's it. Is it May 8th, 8th, 7th, 25th, right? Or is that right? You are at Sea Breeze. Yeah, I'm at the Sea Breeze for that, that weekend. So you're going to, uh, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to fend for yourselves on that weekend. Maybe we'll find somebody You'll who find is somebody. taking over, but we are just looking. And oh. we have to say we are fully vaccinated. So li listen, something just happened that you need to be aware of. I just said we would have no show. You heard me, right? And then Christiana said, we will find somebody to take the show over. And so this is the dynamic of our life here. And I, I realize <laughs> it's like I, I go, oh, I'm gone. And then Christiana will say, but we need to have a show. We need to have a show. And then she make she like encourages I'm German. me. Yeah, she's German. We will put the one foot in front of the other. And then uh, so let's see. Stay tuned. We'll let you know what's going to happen next week. Uh, hey, guys, did you get that camera on you yet? You got the camera? Let's see the vampires over there. Can we see them? Let me turn their microphone on. Hold on. I'm going to turn your mic on. Hi, we're here. Hey, say hello. 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 You guys are dark. What's up, everybody? <laughs> you guys are really dark the in vampires there. Vampires can't be in the sun. Yeah. All right. That's... We, gotta, we live in the dark. Aha. Uh Aha. Uh -huh. The vampires. You're the vampires in there. Is By any chance... Next is... week, we have Molly Gallenberg. Oh. The new vampire. So, 
by any chance is Kate Beckinsale in there anywhere from uh, from Underworld? Because she's a vampire. She's a vampire in the movie. No, at least. Molly is taking over. Oh, Molly's gonna Molly's gonna vampire. Okay, well, watch out. Anything can happen when you get get all of those guys in there. Um. So I wanna uh, I'm gonna play a song for you now, and I have no idea how this. These songs are so new that I don't even know if I know them. And for me to for me to play these, it's like oh my god. Okay. But uh, I do I I have to share them with you because I'm so excited about this. So keep this here so I can watch. Don't hide it from me. This doesn't have to be secret ballot. Okay. I want to see what everybody has to say. Hi vampires. How cute. Yeah, they're they're right next door, but they want to be in their own room. You know. Um, so this song, um, this song last week had one chord and it was just a vamp. It just went from start to finish one chord. And then, um, uh, I, I like to bounce ideas off of people, as I said before, and Bud Horner came over and Bud's helped me so much with, uh, with music. And he just, just somebody's presence in the room really inspires me to take it to the next level. So. I want to play this song for you now, and you, you're going to hear there's a Steely Dan influence on this song. Uh, there's some discussion going on about a guest guitar player on this song. This is what happens early on. We write the songs, and then, you know, we, we say, well, maybe this needs a guest artist or something. And, you know, I'll watch the feed to see who you guys might hear playing on this song. I, I would love to hear what you hear, because we're either going with guitar or saxophone. Uh, but right now, guitar is, I think, our favorite thought. So this song right now is called The Funk, which is a working title. Also, we'll watch to see if you guys come up with any titles for this, okay? I'm going to join in as soon as I remember what it sounds like, okay? <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to make also make sure that this is turned on when we start. There we go. On. Nate Phillips is going to play that.
Yes. Oh, the applause. Thunderous applause in the other room. Vampires applause. <laughs> Man, I just was watching the comments go by as best I could while I'm trying to remember the song and I'm working all the technology. But what I did get out of that, let's see, we had Steve Oliver, Norman Brown, Lee Rittenauer, Grant Geisman, of course, who was on the show and, you know, sounds awesome. You can tell I'm out of breath. Um, anybody else make a comment? Because I love this. Also, there's titles. We need titles for this stuff. Um, so I'm going to after the show take a look great song michelle da uh uh ron reinhardt you're talking about ron reinhardt on keyboards okay adam hawley adam hawley is somebody we talked about as well tony polizzi as well he's he's a great guitar player um let's see so so that's a possibility on on that one and did you did you all like the vampires like that song didn't they mm -hmm. they did like that yeah, song i like it too uh, mama you were dancing a little bit weren't you yeah i like it I kind of dance like the groundhog in Caddyshack. What happened? It's <laughs> I think I think once we get the technology conquered, this would be really fun to go back and forth. The, the vampires definitely need to be a part of the show from now on, don't you guys think out there? Yeah. Because they add a lot, and you, you have to be a part of every show. Here's to all of you. I'm looking at the right camera, right? That's the right camera. Okay, that's the one we have now. Cheers once again, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for hanging in with us through thick and thin. I know, and really. Th thick and thin. Thick. More thick right now. <laughs> it's not, yeah, yeah, it's pretty thick. It was last year. <laughs> okay, so I have some comments. I have good, good funk. Vampires doing a fantastic job for sure. Allison, yep, go vampires. Okay, Melissa, Shay, Barbara, you know, all of that. Man, you guys cheer us up so much being a part of this show. Just so much. Um, by the way, Huge Groove is going to be on the show. Huge Groove, we need applause, vampires. What do you got going Huge. in there? Huge! Where's my, where's my Huge. lighter app? We got to hold that up. Huge... <laughs> Huge will be here for his triumphant return directly from Thousand Oaks, California, which is right up the road. Yeah, 15 minutes away. <laughs> 15 minutes away. And uh, <laughs> Huge is going to be here with, that's German for with, with the band. Right, with Mom? The band, yeah. The band, yeah. Right. And that is going to be awesome. Um, Looking forward to that. I want to remind everybody, this is a big reminder, because uh, once we bring the live bands back in here, um, it's definitely going to be uh, yeah, a higher level of production and everything. So I want to remind all of you that we only exist thanks to your donations and, of course, the uh, the sponsorships that we get. But uh, mostly it's, it's from all of you. So we want to just once again remind you that if you'd like to contribute to the show, it's always been a free show, and, and I'm going to keep it a free show. But and I want to ask, Go ahead. did anybody receive a poster? Yes, did anybody get their posters yet? Because we sent them out. Yes, and it was all on me. You, so. I, we, should, we should have videoed that because you should have seen, that was like a whole adventure. And uh, please let us know if, uh, if you get your posters and if you like them. I hope you do. We love them. If and, they arrived safe. Yeah, because you know who was the shipping clerk? This gorgeous Kevin. woman was the shipping clerk. And Kevin, um, Kevin at the post. And Kevin at the Kevin post office. Special post shout out to Kevin at the post office. I know. Cannot do it without Kevin. But Kevin's been a fan of yours for many years, right. Mom. Twenty-three. Twenty-three years, you guys have I had moved. a relationship. And I always send it letters to Germany, and he said, "I know a letter to Germany, right?" I said, "Yes." See, so. she's got. She knows. I'm people. famous. She is famous. I'm famous at the post office. I know. And that. a teacher, Max. Ah. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to leave it there. Right. So <laughs> let's play more music. Okay. So don't. Uh, we did. We show the donation link, Nicholas. Did we show that? Show the donation link, and uh, and hopefully, if you're if you're enjoying what you're seeing, and we're not being too silly for you. I know. Uh, I saw. I just saw Boney James come up. The, the, the name, Boney James, came up. Steve Steve Grove on the show. Yes, well, that's funny. Steve Steve Grove is Huge Groove. 
you know, you, you all know that, right? And I knew Steve way back in the day, like 25 years ago, before he played with Tower of Power. He came over to my house, and we'll talk about that when he comes on the show. And he used to play on my song demos. One of those song demos became a hit song with REO Speedwagon. And he always, whenever I needed a sax solo, Huge Groove was my go-to guy, Steve Grove. And I'm so excited that he's going to be on the show. All right, I am going to play another song from the new CD. Now, this one, <clears throat> I started out, you know, um, one, of the, one of the sections in that last song, somebody said East Coast funk and all of that. And, and definitely one thing that when, when it came to that breakdown section in the middle and you can re replay it, I definitely was thinking of war and some of the, some of the grooves uh, during their rehearsals and things like that. Cause I, I just, that band had such an influence on me. It was unbelievable. They, they changed my life touring with war and um i wouldn't be who i am today without those experiences across the country touring in that 15 passenger van so there is some war influence in there for sure i'm gonna play a song for you now this song is uh tentatively called playing around and mom come in here so if we had to, the label the most popular smooth jazz artist in this house it would probably be of course who would the first one be vincent Without a question, right? Vincent? Okay, Dave. but... Dave? Vincent? Oh. Dave? Okay. Richard? Okay. But Peter. but one is Peter White. Yeah. Peter White sure. is, is my is Christiana's favorite smooth jazz I am not her favorite smooth guitar jazz artist. Guitar player. It's a guitar player. British. Guitar player. Do you like him more than Kevin at the post office, or do you like Kevin more than Peter Kevin White? Kevin is... Yes. He looks like... <laughs> The Conehead. What's the dad from The Conehead? No, he doesn't. Kevin looks, he's a handsome man. No. H honey, he might watch the show and you might get no service at the it's post the office truth. again. He's not a Conehead. It's okay. I love Kevin. <laughs> My guy. Doesn't matter how you look, it's the spirit you have. I never expected it to go there. That was oh, funny. I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, here we go. This is. <laughs> this is. Uh, Oh, Marcus Anderson. There's another one, Marcus Anderson. Great player. Uh, this song's called Playing Around, and I'm not sure if this song is going to make the record. Uh, definitely, it was inspired by, you know, some of Peter White's writing, because Peter is, Peter writes very happy songs, doesn't he, Mom? I yes. Mean, if, oh, but do, 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 do. <laughs> see you can see she, now she's on it she's not gonna let go she's no. like a pit bull on the mailman's leg so to speak yeah. with peter white music so we love peter very white. beautiful pit bull on the mailman's leg yeah very beautiful um so we're gonna play this song for you now i don't know if it's that's dreamwalk see they recognized it um uh, I don't know if it's going to make the record, but I want to hear if you like this. And I'm going to make up a melody right now. I have never played a melody on this. And I know you might think I'm kidding, but I'm not. I don't even remember what key it's in. That's the way I'm writing music. So this is tentatively called Playing Around. And that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. Hope you enjoy it. It's okay so far, right, Mom?
that's all I have written. That's all I have written. So what? What? If, vampires liked it. Guys, do you like it? You, dead. you like that? <laughs> Somebody says, "Oh, Peggy, Peggy Johns, who is a big supporter of the show." Peggy just said, "You two are adorable," and and you have to know. You have to know. Yes, my wife is absolutely adorable, and that dancing, that dancing is one of the reasons that I fell in love with her. I remember, and it's a Jeff Golub story. I went to New York. I was producing Jeff Golub's record. And I met Christiana. She flew in from Germany. Yeah. And uh, we just went to the average white band. We went to the average white band concert. Right. And I, I had no clue who, who they were. And it was like midnight. We went to a bar, like a club, whatever, in New York. And it's like, okay. I had my little black tights on, a yes, little you did. jacket, and there was the average white, average white band. And you know, what did I know? I knew nothing. <laughs> I knew the songs and I thought, wow, cool. And uh, we were just dancing and hanging out, right? Yeah, and it's you were dancing. really fun. Just like that. And I remember how much I fell in love with but you. I was so innocent. I had no clue. <laughs> when Vic played his trumpet and his music first, and I felt like, when is the vocal coming? <laughs> and then we went for sushi. Do you remember we went for sushi? <laughs> and I almost choked. <laughs> She didn't, come, come close, come close, Mom. They, she had, and she ate some ginger, and she didn't know uh, what ginger had never eaten ginger, fresh ginger before, and it was so fun because you. I almost choked. I felt <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I'm burning up. <laughs> What's that? Oh my God! So we're gonna. Uh, what's the verdict on that song? In or out? Uh, uh, is it all? Is it on the record? We Somebody love it. respond to this. I wasn't watching the feed because I was trying to make up melody. Finish it, cause it's a keeper from R. Hawkins. Keep, keep. Oh my God, Rick is beside himself. Okay, I, thank you. Somebody said I'm cute. I, it's nice to know I still, still got a, I still got a little something, mommy. Okay, <laughs> a little something. Keep it. It's in, 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 in. All right. It's, it's in. in. Now all I need is a title. So I want y'all to watch the show again and listen to it, and just, uh, you know. I'll reach out on Facebook, um, on my fan page, and, and maybe you guys can just send me some titles, you know? I'll post something and say, hey, I need some titles, you know? Um, I will finish it. Okay. Melissa, in. Dave Simon, in. Uh, Playing Around Sounds Great. Uh, Sony, love the song, finish it. Bob Wayne, keeper. You finish it. There's it's some guy who has no name. He says it, it, it was not very good. Oh, really? No, I'm making that up. I'm making okay. that up. <laughs> but we have one person who is watching from Dubai, and we want to wish you um, happy, I don't know, Saturday evening, Sunday morning. I don't even know what time is it is in Dubai. But thank you for watching our show yes. in Dubai. Yes. Been there. Been there in Chapel Ali Hotel yeah. in uh, Dubai. I've never been there. You didn't go with yes. Kev. Did you go with Kevin? In 93. <laughs> With my sister Biggie, and we oh. had the time of our life. We went to the golf tournament there, and it was just amazing. In, okay. At the Chapel Ali, Chapel Ali Hotel. As yeah. long as it wasn't with Kevin, I'm fine. With no, that. it's way before <laughs> Kevin. Uh, there is another song. There's a song you you guys know. On every record, I like to put songs in there. Where is Emma? Emma's in the in the house, but maybe. Maybe this song will bring her to the studio because on every... Hi, Joy Hall. Hi. On Joy, every single CD I do, I always include a song that I can hear Emma dancing it to. So this one is, is no exception. And this song, I think I'm going to actually keep the title for this, Mom, because I like it. It's called... It's called Feet First. Okay. Guys, do you like that? Do you like that title? Feet first. What? Do you like the feet first, vampires? Where's Emma? Huh? Emma Braun, report to the studio and hang out with us, honey. <laughs> we miss you. Every oh, and everybody. Me clearly, Emma has more fans than I. I have. Paul Houston says, "Paul, we love you, Paul. You and Sandra love you." And uh, want to remind. Oh, before I play the song quickly. New Year's Eve is eight, over 85% sold at this point. So 
New Year's Eve is a go, ladies and gentlemen. So you, if you want to come, please come to my website. You have to come to my website and get your tickets. And, and we're not, I think it's just a reservation at this point, right? So you can make your reservation. Here comes Emma. All right. Hey, Put your headphones hey. on, Booker. <laughs> Am I a lucky oh, guy or listen, what? Look at this you, beautiful, you this beautiful, one's... my beautiful daughter. All right. So come to rickbraun.com, make your reservations because we got a great show. Richard Elliott's going to be there. Eric Darius is going to be there. Vincent Ngala is going to be there. Who else is going to be there? Selena Albright. Selena Albright is going to be there. But you got my favorite, so I'm going. I already said that. Your favorite is Rick Braun, right? Yeah. All right. So do you have a long enough cable on that to dance a little bit, Em? Yes. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's see. Song's called Feet First. Feet First. Feet First. Come here. You go, girl. Crank it up. here they put up the banner the Sweetwater banner up there in the background is there because and the, and the blackout drop blackout shades I mean we all worked hard and then of course Kyle and I were out back and their desk that they have out there we just made today it's made from a piano stand and a piece of plywood I had left over from another project so Kyle says we need a desk Sorry. show them your desk over there Kyle so we needed the desk so Kyle is out out there I had my circular saw out about two hours before, you have no idea what goes on here. I had my circular saw out, sawing the wood, and 
Kyle, I, Kyle said, I said, well, do you need to sand that? He said, of course, I'll get the sander and I'll sand. So he sanded it, brought it in. We put it together. He brought all the, then Nicholas showed up and brought the lights in and put those up. And then the cameras are all going up and all the phones are going up and everything's happening. And we thought we were ready to go. And then we had two songs playing at once for the intro. Who knew? I mean, two, two is better than one most of the time, but that's two songs at once is a nightmare. That's, that's not good, is it? No. So um, I hope you're enjoying this show. Um, and once again, um, we are going to announce that a donation of $20 or more gets you into our drawing and uh, to win either a 50-inch smart TV or a private Zoom concert with me. And I'll sit in the studio and we and you make requests. That's request. very fun. It is fun. We, uh, we just had one uh, with Trusilla, Trusilla Steele, who won this last, uh, last time. And we've had... She won the TV she and won the, a Zoom call. Yes, but she she's the only person in, to have won the 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 Zoom. She won the, the the TV, and then she had an unfortunate circumstance. Sadly, she she had a, a house fire, and I said, well, because I, I always say I, most people most people have TVs already, so maybe I give them a choice. No, it, oh, it was amazing. Yeah. So I, I yes. So she's she won the TV. What a and, blessing. And then I sent that to her, and then she said, um, you know, I had this, this terrible thing. We had a house fire and lost almost everything. And she said, I would love to have a Zoom call no, with you. No, we offer, yeah. Yeah, I would love to have a Zoom call yeah. with you. And I said, of course. And then she sent a donation, and then she, she won. She got a poster as well. So she has a poster, had a donation. She, uh, she had the poster, the Zoom call, and the TV. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And uh, we're glad you're in your new home, Drusilla. And I just yes, enjoyed we so we much you all. meeting you. And, and share your stories with us and be trials. And then uh, in the house. And then we're going to have a huge groove here on the 8th of May. And if you like the show, please uh, feel free to make a donation. $20 or more gets you into our drawing to win a prize. And we want to thank Chuck Zorak and everybody at Sweetwater for... Um, everybody at Sweetwater for sponsoring our show because we really couldn't do it without you. Now we're going to say good night. Stay well, everybody. Remember, we can't spread the germs, but we can spread the love. So here we go. We're going to spread the love with one more song. I want to play a song called Green Tomatoes that featured BWB on the CD. Thank you, everybody. We love you all. much everybody for tuning in tonight stay well and we will see you next week 
tribute to Jeff Golub with Brandy Jacobs and Peter White. All right, take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Jacob!